I do think that the new Mi Band has a lot of improvements that make it look and feel more like an actual smartwatch than just a fitness tracker, especially with the higher resolution color display. And personally, I find the brightness to be one of the biggest improvements. So overall, I do think it's got some great improvements which make for a day and night difference with the Mi Band 3. So, I just bought a Mi Band 3 the day the Mi Band 4 was announced. Let me explain why. I had a Mi Band 1S for the longest time, and ever since the 2 came out with a screen, I wanted to upgrade. In fact, you might have seen one of my videos a while ago about a fake Mi Band 2 I got sold as if it were the real deal. But after that episode, I kept my Mi Band 1S for a while longer because, well, it still worked perfectly if I'm being honest. Sometimes it stopped charging, but there was an odd solution for that. Leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours. But earlier this year, the band on my 1S broke, and instead of buying just a new band, I decided it was time for an upgrade. Mind you, this was right around the time when the rumors about the Mi Band 4 broke. So I had a decision to make. Should I wait and get the 4, or just get the 3? Well, we know how that turned out, but at the time I decided to wait for the 4, and make a list of everything I would like to see in it. If it had at least some of those things, I would buy it. If not, I would go for the 3. So, what was in my list? Well, for starters, there was Google Pay. But, if I'm being real here, I knew this probably wasn't going to be in the new Mi Band, being a Google service. What I was hoping for was some sort of in-house solution for NFC payments, maybe even with support for MST like Samsung does with Samsung Pay. Next up was a better way to charge my Mi Band, because I really don't like that I have to get it off the band every time I want to charge it. Plus, I never know where I leave the Mi Band's cable. I also had written down health features in the list, and these were really the heavy hitters. If it had this, I would have probably gone for it. What I meant here was for the Mi Band to have some sort of fall detection, like the Apple Watch. I also wanted it to be able to take an ECG, but I wasn't very hopeful for that to be in this release at least. Also in the list was the Sapphire Glass, because with the 3 being made of glass, I was really afraid of those level 6 scratches. And don't even get me started on the level 7 deeper grooves. The rest of the list were just some simple software things like having a shutter button for the connected phone's camera and music controls. Out of all these things, Xiaomi just delivered on the better way to charge the Mi Band and you still need to buy a third party cable for that and on the music controls, which are great if you like to listen to music while in the shower and want an easy way to skip a song for example but that's just not my use case. Sure, the 4's screen is better and the direct sunlight, but I could already see the 3's screen perfectly fine from the one I tried beforehand. And if I'm being honest, I really couldn't care less about the screen being colored. I really don't see it as a major feature, so I just got the 3. I use my Mi Band as a quick way to check my important notifications without having to take my phone out of my pocket, and the weather, which sometimes doesn't show up for some reason, and it doesn't need a colored screen for that. What it does need is a good battery life, cause I don't want to be charging it every day. And I'm pleased to say that it usually lasts me 15 days, acting as an alarm every day, and with the automatic heart rate detection and sleep assistant both turned on. Which I honestly don't even know why I leave them on, because I never check them, but whatever. In fact, I almost never open the app. Why? Because I don't like it. It looks good and works well, but it has ads now for other Xiaomi products and it just uses too much battery. And the thing is, it doesn't need to. I've changed to using Notify and Fitness for Mi Band because it works mostly like the regular Mi Fit app, but the difference in battery is huge. Not only that, but it lifts some of the software limitations created by Xiaomi, like actually letting you read the text messages you get, instead of just letting you know who sent them. For some reason, the regular Mifit app just shows you complete notifications for app notifications and not for regular text messages. This doesn't make any sense to me. 
It might feel like I'm giving the Mi Band 3 too much crap, but even with all of this, I still really like this smart band. I only paid 20 euros for it new from AliExpress, and for that price you can't get anything that comes even close to this in my opinion. If you can get a 4 for the same price, go for it, but as long as the 3 is cheaper, I'm going to think it's a better deal. And I didn't mention it, but I love that both the 3 and the 4 can use the same bands, it's great. But if Xiaomi does ever release an upgraded version with the things I talked about, I'll probably buy it immediately.